Hello people and welcome to the Bane Fitness channel. I get so many people who are struggling to build muscle asking me for diet advice. So I've designed the perfect muscle building diet which I'll be sharing with you right here in this video. This is essentially a free meal plan that anyone can recreate and I'll be giving you everything you need to copy it and use it for yourself. Also, make sure to stick around till the end of the video where we'll be adding up the total calories and macros for all the meals combined. Let's go to meal number one. Let me get my shirt back on. So the first meal is overnight oats with a swirl of honey, peanut butter and topped with raspberries. I went with overnight oats because it's one of the most popular breakfasts out there. It's easy to make and it's fairly cheap. I also added peanut butter for some extra calories and protein which we obviously need if we're trying to build muscle. This recipe uses 50 grams of oats, 150 milliliters of milk, one tablespoon of peanut butter, a small handful of raspberries, and finally half a teaspoon of honey. It contains 404 calories with 16 grams of protein. To make it, put the oats and milk in a small bowl and leave them in the fridge overnight. Then in the morning, swirl in the honey and peanut butter and throw in the raspberries on top. This is a perfect breakfast for people who don't have a lot of time in the morning. Right, so if you thought that was a good breakfast, you need to check out this meal. Tuna sandwiches are a great lunchtime meal, especially if you're trying to build muscle. Tuna is almost all protein, and you can get a whole 25 grams just in one tip. It's also really cheap to buy. Brown rolls mainly contain carbs, but they are an underrated source of protein. Each one will contain about 8 grams. The best thing about them though is that you can also put them in a plastic container for lunch at work or college. To make these you'll need two brown rolls, a tin of tuna, some cucumber slices, a handful of lettuce and a tablespoon of soft cheese. The two sandwiches combined contain 510 calories and 41 grams of protein. Also, if you don't like tuna you can swap it for a different type of lean protein that you prefer like chicken, ham or turkey. Just make sure that you use enough so it'll give you 25 grams of protein. Right, so the next meal is omelette and beans, what I've actually just tucked into. It's one of my personal favourite muscle building meals. I like it because all you need is literally a tin of baked beans and a few eggs. And you've got yourself a delicious high protein meal in under 10 minutes. To make it, crack 3 eggs into a bowl and whisk them up. Next, pour them into a non-stick frying pan with a spray of oil on medium heat and cook them for a few minutes until they've set. Now just cook your beans in the microwave and plate them up together. I know this meal might not look incredible, but this is something that I have all the time myself because it's so effective and contains 597 calories as well as 38 grams of protein. Another great thing about this meal is that you can add extras into your omelette like cheese, spinach, mushrooms, tomatoes or ham to make it interesting. On to the final meal of the day now and this is the biggest in terms of calories and protein. This is a chicken pasta with spinach, tomatoes and hummus. For this meal you will need 100 grams of dried pasta, one cooked chicken breast, a cup of cherry tomatoes, a handful of baby spinach and two tablespoons of hummus. First cook the pasta and then throw everything together. Start with the spinach, then the tomatoes, the cooked chicken and then lastly the cooked pasta. Now add 2 tablespoons of hummus and mix it all up. Like I said, this is the biggest meal of the day and contains 633 calories as well as 51 grams of protein. This is another one of those meals which you can prep before you need it. I'd recommend making it before you went to the gym so then when you get back and you're hungry, you have a high protein meal waiting in the fridge for you to eat it. Right, so that's it for the main meals now guys, but if you're actually serious about building muscle, you're going to need some more calories and protein throughout the day. So these are some snack options that you could have in between meals whenever you like. The first snack is one scoop of whey protein powder, an apple and a banana. I like to have this two to three hours after breakfast, but you can have it whenever you like. Whey protein powder is a useful supplement when you're trying to build muscle. It's a cheap, high quality source of protein that usually tastes pretty good. Also, having some fruit at the same time is a really good way to top up your energy levels as well as add on a few more calories. The second snack is more of actually a lighter meal than a snack and it's something to satisfy a sweet tooth as well as also adding a few more calories and protein. It's a simple yogurt bowl 
with 200 grams of natural yogurt, 25 grams of nuts, half a teaspoon of honey, and a small handful of raspberries. It contains 404 calories with 13 grams of protein. And I think it's great as a high protein, healthy dessert option that you can have after the last meal of your day. So that's everything for my example of a perfect muscle building diet. I hope you found it useful, but you're probably still wondering, what's the daily total calories and grams of protein? Well, all the food combined in this diet plan would provide you with a daily total of 2,877 calories and 177 grams of protein. I wouldn't recommend copying this diet exactly every single day, but it's definitely something you can use to get started. Just remember, the calories and protein in this video are good estimates, but might be different for you depending on what exact ingredients you use. So I'd recommend using the MyFitnessPal app to calculate them yourself. Please do subscribe if you want to see more fitness content like this. Goodbye.